back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have another vegan empties for you guys and I actually have some stuff outside of this. I've been meaning to do this. It's long overdue. I hope the like audio is okay. I do have my AC on right now. It's just super hot. So I hope there's not too much like humming going on, but bear with me if there is brutal. <laughs> so if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I do have an entire playlist of vegan empties and what it is, is I just kind of go through quickly and give little mini reviews on if I've repurchased them or not or what I thought of them. So I hope you enjoy this and I will link the playlist below if you want to check those out too. I try really hard to not have duplicates as I go, but I'm sure it happens here and there. Now we're on like number 23 or something like that for uh, the empties and so my memory is kind of shot at this point <laughs> but let's get into it I hope you guys enjoy please give this video a thumbs up if you do and of course be sure to share this with any of your vegan friends it's really cool I did a live stream last week and I will totally do one again but a lot of you were telling me like how you found me originally and one of you hello <laughs> um, actually found me through a vegan empties and I was like you know that's probably a really good one especially if you have you know maybe friends that are newer to being vegan this might be really helpful for them so just throwing that out there but I think I actually have shown this I think I have I think Nate bless his heart my husband he like throws in the stuff now too without even asking me sometimes so he probably just thought I wanted to save this but anyway it is vegan and it is the earth balance butter we find this at Trader Joe's but it's pretty much everywhere now um, and it is a vegan butter it's basically like a margarine to be honest I do not miss butter at all like this is totally sufficient it really really is so I would definitely recommend this um, they have different ones now too like different flavored ones but we've actually always just stuck to the original next thing I finished up is this powdered peanut butter now you are probably familiar with the PB2 which is great great option still vegan and I really like that one a lot but I actually picked this one up at Sprouts and I'll always try to tell you where I get stuff too so you can like find it if you're wanting to check it out too um, but this is the Peanut Butter & Co. Mighty Nut Powdered Peanut Butter. 90% less fat. The nutrition on it is two tablespoons, is 45 calories. So pretty, I think, similar to PB2. I liked this a lot. It was good. But it was a little bit thicker than... I think the PB2 kind of is. Now, of course, when you mix in the water, it's supposed to thicken up, but sometimes I would use this to like make in a peanut like sauce, and I felt like it really wanted to thicken up on me even if I put more water in it. So I did like it, I really did, but it was sometimes frustrating um, when I was trying to actually make it more of a sauce, but I did like it, it was really good. Okay, so this is like a new one for us guys. Oh my gosh, I bought two boxes of this actually, and I'm already done with one had it less than a week. It's the Trader Joe's Fruit Frenzy Bars and basically it starts at the top here as a raspberry flavor, um, lemon and strawberry. Delicious. Probably the raspberry is my favorite then the lemon then the strawberry. Yep. <laughs> it's perfect. These are so so good and really nice right now in the summer for sure and just if you're interested at all one bar and it's pretty big popsicle it is is 130 calories. Um, it does have a lot of sugar in it, I'm not gonna lie, and it does have added sugar, like cane sugar, to it, but it is a nice little treat. It really is. So I had to include this. Now, this is the Pure Leaf Unsweetened Black Tea, like the iced tea, just pour it over ice, you're good to go. I love this. I've gotten it many times. Very, very good. Now, I don't think I kept it. But I wanted to speak to it. I also bought the green tea one and just the unsweetened green tea. And I love green tea. It, I don't know what happened here, but the green tea version of this was awful. Like we literally didn't even get past here and we threw it out. But I don't want to say that it was like bad, like this brand, but I'm kind of wondering if like we just got a bad batch. I don't know. It was not good. I don't know what happened. <laughs> so let me know though if you can relate or do you love the green tea? If you're someone who likes green tea normally, is it a good one? I don't know. I 
convinced we got a bad one but anyway I, I don't know what that was about but I would totally get this again the black tea too um, I would even try the green tea one more time just to again prove a point that maybe it was just a bad batch I don't know but yeah love this really good this is newer at Trader Joe's and it is the blueberry almond peanut date and nut bites um, it has chia seeds coconut sunflower seeds in it they're little bites they're little individually wrapped bites and they were really really good very similar to a Lara bar but more texture to them since it had like the chia in it the sunflower seeds in it too the blueberry flavor definitely comes through but it's not super super strong but I really like these these are just a great little like out the door snack I would totally get these again and I think I think they have another flavor of this too, but this is the only one I've tried so far. I finished up one of these Annie Chun's uh, white rice, uh, sticky rice, and it comes like this basically with the little like bowl of rice in it. And I love these if you're feeling lazy <laughs> or even just to take with you like on a lunch break at work. These are great. They're so convenient. They take one minute in the microwave or 90 seconds. This one's one minute. I think the brown rice ones are 90 seconds. Um, with that said, there's all kinds of different types of rices you can buy this way. Probably not as super like cost effective as buying rice in bulk, but again, for those like lazy times or taking them on the go. Now, what's funny is this one is 340 calories for this package. Now, the brown rice one, which is like identical in size, is two servings for one bowl kind of confusing kind of weird i usually eat the whole thing um <laughs> but i noticed that this one was actually for one serving but i love these i really really do in fact i had this today for lunch with a little bit of grilled zucchini delish i did save this after all i just saw it buried in here but it is the unsweetened green tea one but yeah i don't know guys something happened it was not good <laughs> we finished up this ben and jerry's ice cream now they do non-dairy frozen desserts now and they're very very good i have to admit though this chocolate fudge brownie one this is perfect for that time of the month girls i'm just putting it out there it really is this is intense this is chocolatey it kind of made my stomach hurt after eating it to be honest but i think it was just so so rich but i did love it and if you're having that crazy craving i recommend it but maybe just don't eat too much but it is very good. Pretty much all the Ben & Jerry flavors now of the non-dairy kind have been amazing. They really have been. But now you guys know on my last Trader Joe's haul, I showed you we got that um, Trader Joe's soy creamy uh, ice cream essentially. And we got the black cherry or is it like a cherry and chocolate chip one. That is amazing. And actually, I have to be honest, I think that one's better in even the ice cream like texture. Um, but this is not bad. It's really not. But this was more like eating a true brownie. <laughs> Hopefully you're able to see this. But this is actually the daily bread from Tra Trader Joe's. And it's the sprouted whole grain sodium free. It is vegan. There's a symbol here. And this is amazing. This is really, really good bread. Um, I like that it's actually sprouted too. Sometimes that can be harder to find. Um, especially at Trader Joe's. I always found that was a hard one to find. But now they have like this whole line this is just the sodium free like regular bread um, and it is sliced for like toast and stuff and or sandwiches we get the uh, cinnamon raisin one too and it is delicious love that in the morning just to change it up but I really recommend this if you're someone missing bread and wanting to find a better option not only vegan but just better I definitely recommend this I really do I've spoke about these buy drinks many times before on some empties but I don't think I've talked about this flavor here and it's the Kula watermelon my favorite all-time favorite is the Brasilia blue blueberry one delicious it's so good this is giving it a run for the money this tastes like a true watermelon Jolly Rancher it really does it is so good so good very sweet but if you're not familiar with these these are awesome because they're literally 
10 calories for the whole thing. It's actually five, but it's a serving size of two. I drink the whole thing. So it's 10 calories for it. It's sweetened with stevia. So if you're not someone who likes stevia, it's probably not gonna be for you. But if you do, you're gonna love these. Try the different flavors. Costco sells these now in like a 20 pack. But I know that these are also at Target, and if you want to try them out first before committing, grab maybe one each of different flavors that interest you. Nate loves the coconut one, which I don't think I have in here, but that one would be really good with some rum in it. Okay, so these have been in here a while, and I definitely want to speak to them. These are from Whole Foods, and I was really disappointed with these guys, and I wanted to like them because they were definitely better options. So this first one here is the carrot and ginger dressing with no oil, and then this one is the avocado vinaigrette low sodium, no oil. And again, I wanted to love these because they were definitely better options and store-bought really quick and easy if you didn't want to make your own dressing. But I'm kind of putting these together too, even though they're entirely different flavors. I didn't like them. They just had a very like vinegar type taste to them. And I'm wondering if because there was no oil in them, that was like what really came through on it. I don't know. The carrot and ginger one was just very like tangy, but like too tangy. I love vinaigrettes. I do. But this was like tangy. <laughs> I did not like it and the avocado one it was just not what I thought it would be I really can't say too much about them as far as like trying them different ways because I was so turned off to them at first nibble <laughs> so yeah let me know if you've tried these though what you think or is there other flavors that are better I just did not like these Nate finished up this uh, yogurt it's the so delicious dairy-free coconut milk the vanilla one and he loved this he said it was really really good now I don't really like yogurt I never did even before being vegan so I can't really speak to it but he would definitely recommend it and actually when we called this a while ago a lot of you said you had liked it too so it's a good one, and they have different flavors too. We finished up a Maranatha all natural no stir almond butter, and it's the creamy version. This is delicious, guys. This is really, really good. I have to admit that as far as almond butters go, I do think there are better options out there if you are watching your oil because, or even sugar, because this one does have added sugar. It's dry roasted almonds, organic unrefined cane sugar, palm oil, and sea salt. It's delicious. It is but it does have those added ingredients whereas a lot of other ones just have literally almonds or roasted almonds in it and they're really good too so again just throwing that out there that this brand is delicious it is but that was kind of the like oh this is more of a treat than the others i guess <laughs> so we saved the packaging for you guys but we have been showing this on like literally like hauls since we got this originally on our vlogs now we showed how we made it but this is the garlic and herb pizza dough the fresh dough you can get at trader joe's so good so good definitely recommend it super cost effective which is great um and they have different flavors too but we haven't really strayed from this one because it's so good well, guys we've had this a while in here actually these are the garlic fries like in the frozen section at trader joe's I was like excited about them look how good they look when I hauled them a lot of you were like these are disgusting and I was like oh wow how bad can they be really they're disgusting <laughs> they're not good they're not I I don't know what happened here but it didn't work <laughs> it just the so it's basically literally just regular potato wedge fries right but then you add you cook them up and then you add this like packet of like oil and herb mix to it that mix is awful I don't know why I don't know what it was but it just did not taste good it really didn't not worth it live and learn so we have been getting these recently um, at Trader Joe's and you guys have probably seen these on our recent hauls but we got the falafel wrap and the spicy lentil wrap and Nate loves the falafel one that's the one he's been getting he loves it we wanted to save this just to tell you I definitely recommend it you guys know I love the hummus wrap from Trader Joe's and this I think these ones have really like taken it over and one of you hi Paula actually suggested putting this in the air fryer first just to kind of change it up and I think that sounds good and I will get it next time <laughs> so definitely recommend both of these we actually tried this for the first time these are like the meat 
like beef crumbles from Tofurky brand. And actually Tofurky is a very popular brand in like the vegan and vegetarian world. But we actually have not tried that much from it. And this was one of the first things we've actually tried. And we really liked it, it was really good. I still think my favorite is the Trader Joe's beefless like crumbles, but this was not bad at all. And we seasoned it up with like taco seasoning and made like tacos with it. It was really good, really, really good. Um, and I think they even have this in different flavors too, but we just got like the, the regular one. This is 90 calories for it, and I wanna say, I don't remember where we got this, guys. I really don't, and I want to tell you, but I think maybe Vaughn's, in fact, I think, which is like Safeway, too, um, at other places. But 90 calories for a third cup, so not terrible. Um, but yeah, not bad. Definitely good for a taco night. We actually tried this Gardein Crispy Mandarin Chicken, and again, it's the like meatless uh, chicken. We've had this before, but it's been a long, long time, and we wanted to try it again, and we really, really liked this, and our kiddo liked it too. Um, left was just good. And we actually just put this with some rice we had and some vegetable and called it dinner. It was really good. This was from Whole Foods, but I think this Gardein brand is becoming much more popular now. I think you can even find it at Target. So at Costco, I actually finished up this Ancient Grains Granola with almonds, and it is the Kirkland uh, brand, but it's like the Nature's, well, it's kind of weird. It's like the Nature's Path Organic, but then it has the Kirkland symbol on it too. Anyway, but it is vegan, which is great. Sometimes it can be hard to find vegan granola, believe it or not, because a lot of them have added honey to them, but this one does not, and I really, really enjoyed this. Um, very basic, but very good, and it had like really big clusters of granola in it too, along with like littler pieces, and I personally like that. And you got two big bags of it in here in this box. So this was definitely a keeper. I would get this again. And then last but not least, we finished up the pizza sauce from Trader Joe's that goes with the pizza dough. And I love this, you guys. I really do. I recommend this. We would use like basically like half of it for one of the pizzas. And so I had this other half left. And throughout the week, I actually paired it with just some noodles and kind of like a marinara sauce. Amazing, it was good. So I just like to almost have this on hand in our fridge for multiple meals rather than just pizza. It's really, really good. And not that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this empties this time. I hope you guys are having a great week. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you have not already. I really appreciate it. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you have not already as well. Anyway, guys, I will wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a great, great day, and I will see you very, very soon.